A new center in Watsonville aimed to provide youths ages 12 to 17 years old with a wide range of resources to help them succeed. That officially opened its doors today. KION's Erica Bertine was at the grand opening earlier this evening to learn more about the center and the benefits it offers for families in the city. Sarah, the courtyard outside of where Luna E. Soul Familia Center held its grand opening was full of families, community members, and partners coming together for a common goal to provide a safe place for Watsonville youths. After a year and a half, the ribbon was cut to the Luna E. Soul Familia Center. Being born and raised here in the city of Watsonville, I'm a resident. I've seen a lot. This is one of the things, ladies and gentlemen, that I personally feel is going to take off and it's going to take off full speed. Getting to this point has been a long time in the making. The funding came through in July of 2020, but COVID led to many challenges such as hiring shortages and renters unwilling to lease to nonprofits. We don't have a lot of uh, uh, after school programs available, especially with COVID. So this is uh, gonna be a space for you to have a safe space for them to come and connect with people. Now Luna Isol is established and looking forward to embracing the community. If they need a right to go to school, they need a right to go to a job interview, prayer job interview, job coaching, uh, you know, mock interviews, you know, we'll be here to support the youth in the community. Classrooms like this provides a one-stop shop for various resources, not just for youths, but also for parents. The Community Action Board of Santa Cruz County Program will provide children and young adults with basic needs, health and education support, employment assistance, community engagement, and more. It's not every day that we have, uh, you know, mentors that are, that are available at any time, you know, to, to seek help, not only, you know, through academics, but also professionally, and, you know, also how we can assist them personally to, to improve the quality of life of our youth in South County. So far, the center has received 110 referrals, and out of those, have enrolled 66 youths into the program. They don't leave people out. They help you with homework. They're very encouraging. They've helped me with counseling and finding a job. The referral process is open entry, so youths can refer themselves, parents or guardians can refer their children, as well as schools, probation, and the courts. Erica Bratine reporting for KION News Channel 5, 46.